When planning my three month trip through Europe, I initially bought a 60 liter backpack that looks something like this. But after some consideration, I ultimately decided to downgrade my bag size to a 30 liter backpack. That being said, here are some of the great advantages of traveling light that you might wanna think about before you set out on your trip. First and foremost, traveling lighter can save you some money. When traveling, if your bag is too big, of course you have to check it, which there's always a fee involved with that. If you're doing a lot of flying on your trip, that expense can very quickly add up. Another way traveling with a smaller bag can save you some money is you simply won't have tons of space for souvenirs and whatnot, so you won't be able to spend money that you otherwise might have spent to fill your bag with those kinds of things. Another reason I really like traveling light is because it allows me to keep my belongings with me more easily. When you have a really large backpack, it simply isn't practical to have your backpack with you most of the time. A smaller bag is much easier to keep with you if you wanna go explore for the day, but maybe you've already checked out of your hostel in that city. So you're able just to keep your bag rather than having to figure out some place to store it. On some trains and buses, there isn't always a ton of space to keep your bag close to you, unless it's maybe a smaller bag that can fit under your seat or in the overhead storage compartment. And so you'd have to store it somewhere else in like another compartment of the bus or train. So if you wanna avoid that, a smaller bag will definitely help. Of course, when flying with a large bag, you have to check it. And airlines are notorious for losing luggage all of the time. I think it'd be a really unfortunate way to start a trip by having the airline lose your baggage before you get to your destination. Another huge benefit to not traveling with a large backpack is that it's a lot easier on your body. So with my 30 liter backpack, I found after a few days that I was still getting somewhat sore from it in my back and my shoulders. And I can only imagine this probably would have been worse with a larger bag. Whatever bag you decide to use, it's really important that it's sized correctly and that it's adjusted correctly so that it fits your body correctly. I wouldn't recommend buying any backpack for traveling that doesn't have a good waist strap. A waist strap does a great job of removing a lot of the weight from your shoulders and distributing that weight more evenly throughout your whole body, which in the long run just makes it much easier for you to get around. More weight in your bag will also take a heavier toll on your feet, so good shoes are a must. In general, you're gonna be on your feet a lot and you'll have your bag with you a lot. And so going lighter is just gonna help you have more energy to do all of the things that you really want to do. Another reason you might consider downgrading your bag size is because it can help you stay more organized because you simply don't have as much stuff. This can be useful for helping you find your stuff a lot more quickly and just keeping tabs on all of your stuff to make sure you don't leave things behind when you're packing up to move on to your next destination. If you think you'll miss all the separate compartments of a larger bag, you can use packing cubes to help separate different items. For me, also a hanging toiletry kit is a must. Uh, it's just really useful, especially when staying in hostels, being able to grab all of your toiletries and then hang them up somewhere if there's not great counter space. Another benefit of traveling light is that it can potentially help you stay more safe. Large, colorful backpacks are famously carried by backpackers and travelers. And so by opting for a smaller, more incognito bag, you make yourself less of a target to potential pickpockets or people who might like to take advantage of you. Additionally, while hostels often have lockers for you to store your bags, they vary in size. And so it'd be unfortunate to stay in a hostel and find that the locker is too small to contain your backpack. A smaller bag helps ensure that you'll always be able to lock your bag up if you want to leave it behind and go do something else. I loved the backpack I ended up taking with me on my trip. It's made by a company called PackSafe, and I'll put a link down in the description to one of their backpacks. It had some really cool safety features like wire mesh in the front so people couldn't cut into it and take your stuff out. The zippers to the main compartments had lock holes so you could put a little padlock on it. Also, one of the straps of the backpack could come off and you could wrap it around a pole or something and then lock it so that you could secure it maybe if you're sleeping on a plane or on a train or on a bus. You could sleep easy knowing someone can't easily just snatch your bag while you're sleeping. Another reason I'm a fan of traveling light is because it increases your mobility. So a lighter bag means you can move around a lot faster. Say you're late to your train or your plane, you'll be able to run a lot faster to catch it. If you're traveling to popular destinations, you'll often find yourselves in large crowds of people. A big backpack can be cumbersome to navigate crowds in because you'll constantly be bumping into people. It'll be hard to turn around. 
A small backpack reduces that factor, makes it easier to navigate those situations. Another benefit of traveling light is that you can pack your bag a lot faster. So when you're traveling, you're gonna be packing and unpacking your bag a lot. So less stuff in a smaller bag just means you'll be able to load up a lot faster. I found that traveling light can also be a great way to save a little time. You know, when you arrive to your destination at the airport, if you've checked your luggage, you have to wait around until all the luggage comes around and then finds your bag before you can set out. When you've carried your bag on the plane as a carry-on, you can just get off the plane and keep going wherever you need to go. Whether you're a minimalist or not, I think traveling light is fun because it forces you to pare down all of your belongings to the essentials. Most people, when they buy a larger backpack, they'll naturally expand how much they pack just to fill the amount of space that they have. For that reason, I think it's kind of fun to pick the bag size before you figure out exactly what you wanna bring, because this will force you just to cut down your list, figure out exactly what you wanna take with you without any excess. A good rule of thumb for me when trying to narrow down my list is that if I don't really use it or wear it at home, then I probably am not gonna use it or wear it while I'm traveling. So I would just suggest keeping that in mind as you're figuring out what you wanna pack. Another really big advantage for me of traveling light is that it lets me focus less on the stuff I'm carrying with me and more on the experiences that I'm having. A big bag simply demands more attention just because it's heavier and it's harder to find places to keep it. At the end of the day, I don't think anyone really wants to spend all their energy and time focusing on their backpack while they're traveling. And so for me, a lighter bag helped me just focus on the stuff I was doing rather than what I was carrying. If you wanna see a complete list of everything I brought with me on my trip, I'll put a link in the description of this video to that. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.